Well, welcome back to the shop. Well, in front of the shop anyways. Um, in this episode, we're going to put a Super ATV back window in a 2021 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. Stay tuned. Well, in this episode, we're going to put a Super ATV uh, back window in a 2021 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. Um, this looks pretty straightforward and simple. Basically, uh, you know, here's your window, obviously. I'm gonna pull those four screws out, take my SMV off of there. Um, and then this whole plastic piece here comes off and then you've got four holes right here. You need a number three Phillips to do that. And then they'll go on like that. And then <clears throat> these pieces, these pieces basically bolt to the window and go up underneath the headache rack, something like that. I think they go on the top right there. Um, put a seal on the top. Looks pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go a little bit, a <clears throat> uh, little different step here. And I'm gonna use a st uh, SMV sticker and just kind of stick it right to the window that way. Um, there's a chance that I might not go to prison if they uh, catch you in the road with it, but your uh, sure uh, your jurisdiction is different than mine. So, anyways, I don't have a cameraman here, so I'm going to have to do the work and then cut back and show you what I did. But the first thing we're going to do is pull those four screws out right there, number three Phillips. I'm going to cut the uh, SMV off of there, which if you don't have an SMV on your rig you can skip that step but um, I'll get those screws out and then we'll uh, reconvene okay so I pulled those four screws out and I thought that this plastic piece came off and you just like either discarded it or whatever I was actually thinking about seeing if there was a way you could put that piece of plastic back over the windshield and uh, I pulled those four screws and huh the um, piece didn't come off of there well it's all molded into this one piece right here so basically this windshield uh, rear windshield slides down in behind it so that piece there will kind of protect it which is kind of cool um, so <clears throat> I wanted to test fit it make sure that it fits you know that it fits the machine which it appears that it does because um, once you peel the uh, backing off from it you own it so just want to make sure that it fits this machine and there's a story that goes along with the the front windshield in this machine is why I have a little bit of trepidation on that but uh it looks like it will looks like it will fit um so the next step I'm going to peel the backing off from the top and uh I'll probably just peel the backing area you know the the protective layer off the front and the back stick my SMV on there because it'll be easier to do that you know when it's down here on the back and then I guess uh I'm gonna pop the sides <clears throat> and push the headache or the bulkhead or whatever the hell you wanna call it forward to get it passed down here um, to kind of get it to set down in there. So uh, let me do that and be right back. So yeah, in installation is I guess a lot more straightforward than I thought. So pretty much ignore everything that I said in the first part of this video. Um, the window goes over that plastic piece um, it doesn't go in behind it, so don't try to fight it in behind there. Um, so I hope when, uh, you know, y'all started watching this uh, video, you were cringing when I was trying to tell you that it fit in behind there, but it doesn't. It goes over top, and you have longer screws with a, a nice little rubber, washer with rubber on one side. So there's four longer screws, and then there's six little bit shorter ones. Um, and then you got this rubber seal goes across the top of the roof and it actually seals and sits um, you know like that obviously you'll have to hinge your roof anytime you want to dump the back now from now on which you know kind of sucks but it's you know no other way to do it the big screw up is I put my SMV up in the middle thinking that this piece went down behind there and now it's up too high and it's right in the way of my uh, rear view mirror so I will probably be peeling my $15 SMV off get another one and probably put it down here in the corner. I'm thinking that way unobstructed view to the rear, but whatever. So anyways, 
basically what we did is uh, you pull those four screws out, set this up in there, and then I started that screw, started that screw, just kind of left them loose, um, and then put the other two in, you know, because that'll kind of hold it. I had, I had help, which if you can have an extra set of hands, it doesn't hurt at all. And then you got these little brackets here, same thing, um, little Allen, Allen head, you know, button head screw there with the washer and the, uh, you know, with the rubber washer there. And then you got these little brackets that just go underneath like that. And it, it holds it tight, doesn't rattle. There's rubber on the brackets, so it's not metal on metal, which is nice. And then this thing here is kind of a bear, but it is about probably 20 degrees out right now. So maybe if you did that in the, you know, where it, it, it wasn't freaking frozen for nine months out of the year, it might help, but yeah, then 10 millimeter nut there and just uh, snug them up. I, I, I started, started this side, went over, got the other side and tightened that one, came back, tightened this one, and then did the one in the middle and it's, it's on there. And, uh, be careful i put a nice scratch in it right here already but other than my my stupidity um with mounting the smv too high it uh went on there uh, went on there pretty good it fits good um it sits sits right on, right the roof sits right on it it actually fits fits that better than the the factory kawasaki windshield factory kawasaki windshield there's a three inch gap up there, which I don't know if that's normal for the windshields on these or not, but you'd think that a, you know, glass Kawasaki windshield, they give you a nice seal on here. You'd think that, you know, it would seal against something, but it doesn't, I guess some people jam pool noodles in there, but me, I just put a pair of gloves on an extra coat. But uh, anyways, just a quick little, quick little video. Cause I didn't see too many on how the super ATV window fits the uh, FXT pros. Um, this was a, this is a 21 ranch. Um, I'm pretty sure that this part of them is all the same. There's slight differences from the 21s, 22s, from the 20s and the back to the 17s, but well worth, well worth the money. I think it'll keep the air, you know, from blowing back on that when the kids are riding in the back seat there. And, and obviously when you kick your bulkhead and everything forward, it's still going to fit under the roof and everything. The only issue I see is that anytime you go to dump the bed now, which I'll probably do this wrong for 10, 15 times, but the only time you go to uh, dump the bed, you're going to have to pop the roof, which, you know, that's what it's built to do. So anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I guess I should have maybe looked at the directions more before I uh, started making this video, but you know, do it. Uh, I'll do it wrong. So y'all can, uh, y'all don't have to. So anyways, thanks for watching.